Namaste dosto, we are on our way to the airport. I am finally going to be reuniting with my wife Manisha after so long. And guys, say hello. Hi. Hello. hello. And Doug, Doug's driving. So you remember my family from our family vlog. And if you're wondering why Manisha and I haven't met up till now, that is all in the last Blacklist vlog. There's tons of reasons. But finally, a whole bunch of countries around India have opened up for tourism, so I can easily go and meet her now. Mum, do you have any message for, for Manisha? Uh, yes, I do. I just want to say to Manisha, um, we've really loved having Carl home, and I know it's been hard for you both, but he's on his way back to you, and I'm hoping you and him can both come back next year sometime, and I know you love each other and will look after each other and that's, that's all you can hope for. I want to say love to my Indian daughter Manisha and sending love to her family as well. It's been great having you here because I feel like it's safe here for you. Mummy, what is the message for today? India, you're a I'm finally meeting my amazing husband in Nepal after more than a year and we have some sweets for him. That's Motichur Laddu and Imbarti. But I wish I could have taken some homemade alu parathas and masala chai for him. That would have made him really happy. Kal ke liye message kya Kal, khush raho. और जल्दी से वापस आओ हम बहुत मिस कर रहे हैं आपको बाय 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 ऑल द बेस्ट इट्स योर बेस्ट ऑफ जर्नी आई गॉट ग्रैब अ ट्रॉली है गिव मी अ हैंड शॉन इट्स नो वन हियर राइट सो क्वाइट शॉन गिव मी अ हग मेट गो मिस यू ब्रो मिस यू द मोस्ट गिव अ रियल ब्रो Mom, see, see you later. What's, what's Doug doing? Oh, I met from Junior and Bill and Mom and everybody. Oh, we thank love you. Love you, Carl. Mm -hmm. We'll miss you. Mm -hmm. And uh, to the guy holding the camera, Nick, flick it around, bro. Flick it around. Hey. See you soon, bro. See you, bro. Yeah, it'd be a while. Next, next year sometime. All right, see you guys. See you soon. Okay. Bye. I will. Man, traveling overseas has definitely changed. So, as you can see, there's no one around. There is just like 27 people on this flight. That's it. They told me no one's traveling for tourism. These are just people going home. And so they check your visas and they check your documents. They check mine four times. I was getting worried, like, do I have everything? So let's go and I'll sit down in a second. I'll just tell you a bit about what I've gone through over the last year being away from my wife. I'm just waiting for the flight now and these 400 days have been the hardest days of my life ever, basically. <sighs> My biggest fear the entire time was that what if something happens to Manisha? I won't be able to be there for her. These are commitments that you make to someone when you marry, right? That you'll be there for them. And my worst fear did come true, unfortunately, when she got COVID for a second time in India. And that was during the oxygen crisis. Yeah, I was so worried about her. And the second time she had COVID way worse than the first time when she had it with me. And being forcefully separated, it really hits you. When you see your partner going through something difficult, when they're sad, when something's happened, when I, I FaceTime call her and I can see she's not okay. And you can't be there for that person, you know? Physically, you can't. Physically, you have this feeling that you want to be there and you just want to hold them and hug them and, you know, comfort your, your partner. But 
You can't, and it breaks your heart when you see them in that condition on a FaceTime call. It's, it's really horrible being separated, forcefully separated from your wife like that. And I've missed birthdays, I've missed anniversaries, I've missed festivals. People back in India are literally waiting for me to return so they can get married. And so this whole blacklisting thing has affected my entire family, not just me. And I feel like I've served the jail sentence, to be honest, because I've been stuck outside of India, away from my family. Here in New Zealand, I've been on a lockdown and COVID travel restrictions have stopped my wife and I from being able to meet all this time. So yeah, I feel like I've served the jail sentence even though I've done nothing wrong. And online propaganda will try and convince you otherwise. The sheer amount of propaganda online about me should alert you that there's been a coordinated attack against me basically, an organized attack against me. So anyway, one day I'll be able to tell you the real story, but right now I'm too scared to tell it because I don't want my blacklisting to be extended, basically. That's the situation that I'm in. It's been 397 days since Carl left India. It was a few days before my birthday and he got me a cake, we had an early celebration, and then he left. He thought he'll travel in Dubai and Pakistan and then come back. But when he tried to come back, we found out that he was blacklisted. We spent the next few months trying to figure out what to do. I ran from FRRO's office to Home Ministry's office, but no one would meet us. We wrote so many emails, probably half of the office has our email in their inbox, but no response for months. And then we realized going to the court was the only option left. So we did that and we're on it and we will get Carl back. But meanwhile, I'm finally getting to meet him. Welcome to Singapore. I slept like a baby the entire flight. And as soon as I got here, I sat down to go and, I went to go and find a tea actually. I found a tea here, it's called Tay in Singapore. It's $1.60 and um, you won't guess what happened. This guy comes up to me and he goes, hey Carl, I met you and your brother in Jaipur three years ago. I'm like, no way man, no way, really? And yeah, I remembered him, it was, I think they're American to American dudes and now they're flying to Bali for a holiday. So my videos helped him travel in India, make him feel confident about traveling to India. And that's the effect my videos have on foreigners. And so all the time I meet foreigners like this and they say, Carl, thanks for your videos. And he's still following me to today. You know, a lot of foreigners just come and go from my channel just to learn a few tips and tricks and places to eat. It really makes me feel happy to meet people who I've come in contact with through my channel and I can't believe that we've met before. That's just insane. The world is a very small place. We met in Jaipur and now we're meeting again here in Singapore. Yeah, just, just awesome. That's the power of YouTube. Won't you save, 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 save? So I just landed here in Nepal and as soon as the plane landed, the guy behind me stood up and he said, welcome to Nepal to me. So sweet. And wow, there's a sadhu. Wow, it's all happening. I feel like I'm back in India. And during this time away from my wife, I've been lucky enough to spend a lot of time in Dubai and in Pakistan. 
And now I'm here in Nepal to be able to meet my wife. So yeah, I really appreciate all these countries that I've been able to spend my time and what I've been waiting to get back. And some other good news came just before I boarded this flight from Singapore to Kathmandu. It's that my father-in-law has joined a political party in Haryana. So I'm so proud of him. Congratulations to you. You're an inspiration to me and Manisha and you love everybody and you're a good person. You're the right person to be in politics. So I think, I think he's gonna do really well. The last elections in Haryana, he got 17% of the vote as an independent candidate, which is huge for his first time running. It's massive. And I can't tell you what he's been doing for the last year. I wish I could tell you what he's been doing and what fights he's taken up. But I can't tell you because if I talk about that specific thing, I'll definitely get my blacklist extended. You know, that's how it is. I can't talk about certain things happening in India because even, even when my family are involved in it, you know, it's, I've been gagged basically. Mess, it's messed up. Anyway, I'm here to meet Manisha and I am going to enjoy Nepal with her. Namaste Dosto, today it is Diwali. I'm standing on top of Kathmandu as you guys can see and today we made a rangoli at the hotel and now tonight I'm just spending out on the streets of Nepal with everybody else celebrating Diwali or what they call here Tihar. And obviously this year has been a very dark year for me and Manisha so yeah, he is hoping that the light will come and that, you know, our fortunes and our lives will change in the year ahead. Happy Diwali to everybody and to you and your families. You'll be seeing this after Diwali and Manisha will be arriving here in Nepal very soon. She has to be in India for Diwali. Namaste Dosto. So the day has finally come. Manisha is, is on her way and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm feeling so nervous actually. You know, like I haven't seen her in 397 days. It's just, it's a very, very, very strange feeling. And, you know, her and I are living through something very weird. We are separated for that long. So, yeah, I'm nervous, but I'm so excited and I, I can't wait to see her. I'm feeling a lot happier. Like, the closer I've got to meeting again with Manisha, the happier I've been feeling in, in my life. So, um, yeah, I'm going to feel really good to be with her and to have her support that hasn't been there the entire year, you know, when you're so far away, it's difficult. Her support's been there, but you know what I mean? Like, it's different when that person's not, not with you. It's very difficult. So I'll feel good just to be around her. Just to have her always there. Have you guys ever seen that movie, Gadar Ek Prem Kata? That's, I feel like I'm going to pick up my Tata Singh now. I <laughs> feel like I'm Sukina, stuck away from, from my home and from my love. Like, yeah, that's how I'm feeling. Manu's flight has landed now, and the closer I'm getting to the airport, like the more emotional I feel, <laughs> the more I feel like crying. I'm feeling really happy. Yeah, we're just we're just one kilometer away now, and she's landed. Will I cry? Will I leave behind broken and crumbled signs? Hiding all my roads to you, uh oh. And if I fight, will I come to life? Calling for all your light, giving all my heart to you, uh oh. I've been falling, I've been lost And I've been calling on my ghosts 
put it to rest because I'm coming home, coming home. Oh. And I've been carried, I've been dragged. And I've been lucky, torn inside. I put it to rest because I'm coming home, coming home. I am done. I will stay to find every hidden sign. Taking all my roads to you. <laughs> Yeah. It's, not ah. a, it's not a proposal, it's not a proposal. <laughs> I know it looks we like a proposal. We don't need that. No, but we I, don't need that. Look, look, have you seen Nepal's flag? Nice. Have you seen how cute their flag is? It's not a, I really like this flag. You should wear it on your kurta. No, I got it for you to say, welcome to Nepal. Thank you. They've got a beautiful flag. It, it's not the same shape as a flag, so I really like it. And I've met so many, uh, I've met so many subscribers here. Are you going to ask for money now? <laughs> no, my fingers are too big. Okay, go. I'll do it. I got it, I got it. Yeah. Done. And this? Nice. This is not a ring. I know. It's from my mom. <laughs> my mom got you this. Aww. It's um. A butterfly. It's, I mean, actually, it's from my great grandmother. Hmm. It's from Holland, actually. And um, it's like full silver. And it's got this nice. power shell or something on it. Because my grandma's giving away yeah, all her My grandma's giving away all her nice. jewelry. And so she wanted see. to send you this. Yeah. And she's sending more. She's just still going for the process because she's oh. really sick. Oh yeah. So she's so this is from my grandmother. Mm. And from my great grandmother. Thanks to her. I keep it safe. I'm not going to wear it. <laughs> you can wear it. We just need the polish no. a little bit. And this is for you. Care, That's yeah. your Imarti. This is my face. And in the box. Look at this. <laughs> we have a Marti from where's it from Delhi. This is my favorite. You can see the uh, saffron in the Marti, and it's basically paneer, kind of deep fried like a jalebi, I think. Jalebi <laughs> bai. <laughs> oh my god, this is so good. Thank you, baby. Nice. Ah. Have it. It's all yours. I don't need it. Which year with everybody then, in the car actually. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I feel better that you're here. Are you that eating That was my this? sigh, like uh, uh, um, are you eating this after a year? I've eaten this after a long time. Oh, oh. This is really popular in Haryana. Okay. Mm. Let's go to the hotel now. Yeah. Take Let me out for a coffee then. Yeah. I haven't coffee. had a coffee since <laughs> <laughs> and tomorrow I'm going to show you around <laughs> Nepal and let's see how much you like it. Yeah. I think you'll like it. I think so. I think so. Okay. And thank you to everybody for supporting us and for following our story and yeah. for leaving all your kind comments and yeah, just for being there. I'm so happy to be back with Manu after so long. It's only for a few weeks though because you have to go back to your life in but Delhi. But then we'll meet again. Unless we win in court this month. We will. Then I can come back with you. 